Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Todd Bentley is who we're looking at today, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to John Elving for sharing this. Todd Bentley was commissioned into leadership by Peter Wagner and many other false teachers in the New Apostolic Reformation. Shortly after this commissioning, he left his wife and kids for his assistant, who, by the way, had an episode where she seemed to be possessed and talked about an elephant and Oral Roberts in a dream. This divorce should have disqualified him from ministry, but of course, the leaders in the New Apostolic Reformation didn't seem too concerned. Todd even admitted at one point to having 25 demons as a Christian. You can find lots on Todd and his conversations with his gigantic angel named Emma. Interestingly enough, Bob Jones told Todd that this same angel named Emma was the one who helped birth the prophetic movement in Kansas. You know, the Kansas City false prophets? Not to mention, this liar says that God told him to kick an old lady in the face for healing, amongst many other brutal healings. And you can see lots more on Todd in his playlist here on Revealing Truth. It finally got to the point where even the leaders in the New Apostolic Reformation had to wash their hands of Todd, most likely to preserve their own tainted reputations. But clearly, this is not someone that should be in a leadership position influencing people in the church. In this video back in 2010, thanks to Mark Scott for this, Bob Jones says that God told him to remove a curse from Todd. In a trance, I had a vision, and in that trance, the Lord come to me, and he said, I want you to break curses. I want you to break a curse off of Todd Bentley, because well-meaning Christians has put a curse on him, and that's leaving an opening for him to be assassinated. Well, that didn't seem to do too much because we've seen all that's happened since then. Todd was out of the limelight for a while, but has come back in full force. And in this video, he's trying to suck the anointing off Charles Finney's rock. The crazy thing is that it's just a rock. It's not his grave, not that that would matter, but this is just a rock with a plaque on it. But here's what Todd says. I was carried to this site in a revival in Ohio. I was carried here in the spirit oh, wow. to that rock yep, and had yep. an encounter with the angel of the Lord. And That's I gave right. this big prophecy yes. in Ohio. Oh, wow. and, you know, but I had been here one time in the natural many years ago. But when I came back in the spirit, yep. I didn't realize in the beginning it. that it was to this site. Oh, and then oh, I wow. looked down and saw yep. in the spirit that plaque yep. that's on that rock. These people love making up stories about their own experience that you can't prove didn't happen. You just have to believe them. And there's nothing God honoring about this. And this is the saddest thing here. We have pastors and leaders all the way from Ohio. And we've got other gentlemen that are pioneering in New England. We have a lady flew in, her and her pastor came in June. She came again, she's all the way from Japan, came from the School of Revival. People that have come up from Oklahoma just about all over the place. Why? Because we're spreading the fire yes. of revival, right? People have to be willingly blind to continue following this guy, but yet they're coming from around the world to see him and attend his school. He talks a bunch about bringing the fire of God and revival, and then a bit more about Bob Jones. Now the other thing is when Lord's prophet Bob Jones was here, and also Paul Kane came here to the church, so you had Bob Jones here, we've had Paul Kane here, and they, they brought prophetic words here, the yep. prophets in our time. Yep, and here's the thing that's interesting is, now I talked to Bob, and Bob said to me, he said, Pat, it is the angel winds of change who's blowing wind right now. Every time we come here, this angel comes. He said, Pat, the angel winds of change is coming to restore the Finney revival. Come on. Then the angel of truth appeared to Bob, and he told him all the facts of the Fendi revival, and he said, that is your inheritance, and you will get it back. But when that 95% was saved, but the angel said, now 100%. Well, as it's restored, we'll be saved. It seems like nobody tests the spirits in these groups, and often they just relay useless information. This crowd assumes any angel visiting them must be a real angel because they're, quote-unquote, Christians. Here's what one of his comrades says. 
you know, I, I am such a firm believer in impartation and portals and yes. places where there's an open heaven yeah. and, yeah. and, and yeah. just yeah. being yeah. here. Here comes the wind. Here comes the king angel. Yes, sir. Mighty rushing winds. Because remember, the winds there are caused by an angel. It's always the same stuff. Impartations, portals, and open heavens, all sounding so new age. They sing and they break out in tongues, without a translator, mind you. But let's get to the main focus of this rock anointing. Yeah. Let's get around this rock, everybody. Maybe we can just hold hands, because we're going to be a mighty impartation here. Really? Why is that, Todd? Because you're holding hands around a rock with a plaque on it? Please, forgive my bluntness, but this is stupid. The memorial stuff. <laughs> And, and any time, again, you know, biblically, we read in the Old Covenant, any time that God would do anything mighty, he would say, set up a memorial stone for the generations. God did not say to set up a memorial stone every time he did something mighty in the Old Testament. And besides, we're in the New Covenant now. Oh God, open our hearts today yes. to receive yes. the, the yes. from the very yes. spirit yes. of revival yes. that's in this place as we ignite you that we reunite and we unite together. Come on. And we pray that that very fire, it was Pentecost fire, it was yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, the same spirit that brings Jesus to the dead. Like, what's going on? This is just wacky. It reminds me of a bunch of druids joining hands for a summer solace. As you can see, this continues for some time with them stumbling back and forth, babbling in gibberish, and just acting strange. Like, this is just weird, and I don't see how it honors God or what they're even expecting to accomplish with this. And then this. I encourage you guys to just spread out the property and just walk around, touch the building, touch the stones. Why touch the building and touch the stones? I just don't get it. Pray, you know, go around the property and just stay in that, that place of fellowship with the Lord. Now, God, we thank you for those that are watching right now, our students. I want to just bless you guys real quick. I'm coming through. And uh, Lord, I thank you that they too, bam, are receiving that fire. And there's the famous Bam Bam Todd Bentley. And we're supposed to receive the fire of God because he said that? There was this thing that we were sharing today, Todd, on brokering the anointing, how we're all brokers of the glory and uh, brokers of stewards the anointing. And stewards and dispensers. Yeah. Brokers. So we, we just release that. If you're watching, yeah. you know, we're, yeah, we're encouraging you to just yes. understand that you might think it's just nutty to come to a site where a rock is and you say, what in the world could be on that rock? Well, I tell you what, <laughs> there's residue on it. Yeah. How about that? Oh! So you get close to that, and, and if you're a sponge for the anointing, you approach it. It's not a rock. It's not an inanimate object. It's something that has a residue of the glory on it, and you want to tap into that. And so that's what we've been doing. My friends, these are words to deceive the naive. It's a rock with a plaque. There is no residue anointing on that rock from God or Charles Finney. And if you are listening to people like this, you need to stop. Anyhow. I'll leave the full link of this below, but we're going to leave it here for today. So as always, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless. And don't listen to Todd Bentley.